Hi there guys, this is Benedict Klöckner coming you, to you from Paris. I wish you all a very, very happy Easter or Pesa Fest. And I'm going to play for you today a very program with some of my dearest friends together. Uh, I think it's really wonderful that uh, Wildland Channel gives this opportunity of this live stream because music is really an uh, art of the moment, of the magic moment, I think. And to play for you, um, it's a real pleasure. And I would like to start with some piece by Johann Sebastian Bach from his sixth suite, The Preludium. And Rostropovich said once for him, it's like the piece when on Easter Sunday all the church bells are ringing. And I think that's a really beautiful image. Uh, for this preludium. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was the preludium from the six bus suite. It's uh, it somehow became my daily habit in this uh, days of quarantine to just play every day Bach and I even I post every day one movement of the Bach so that kind of keeps me going because it's a very depressing feeling that you know that all your concerts until summer are like completely cancelled so um, this keeps kind of the spirit up. The next piece I'm going to play for you is like from um, Paris actually the place where I am right now and um, it's like probably one of the most famous cello pieces ever. It's like the Swan by Camille Saint-Saëns and I don't have two pianos with me but uh, my friends Kiveli and Danai Durkin from Berlin were so kind to record it for me. So I have it right now here as if they would be in the room. I hope you can see them well enough. I took the biggest device I have. I hope it's uh, going to work out. It's also the first time for me honestly. That was this one with Kivelli and the night Durkin sings very much to play virtually with me today. And the next piece is actually with a wonderful real person in the room, the fantastic Clemence de Fosseville. And we are going to play for you uh, a duo by Reinhold. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Violin Chanel. We will play a very short duo for you. The first movement of the duo of uh, Guillard de Prélude.
That was a beautiful <laughs> Lear duo with fantastic Clémence de Fosseville. Uh, the next piece I'm going to play for you is by Sultan Kodai, and it's like maybe one of the most crazy cello solo pieces. It's, um, there's a very funny story about Kodai, who came to a concert of a student who performed this sonata after two years of hard practice and when the people applauded Kodai came on stage and asked the little um, this last student could you do me a favor and the student said of course maestro anything and then he said never play this piece again so apparently he was quite a tough person but nonetheless the piece is absolutely fantastic and it requires that you tune down your first low strings which gives it a very dark and um, yeah very dramatic color and um, it's very much inspired by Hungarian folk music, as you will be able to hear, I think.
Skoda Isonata's third movement. Now I have to tune back the strings. Up. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments and I'm very happy to answer them. <laughs> The next piece we are going to hear is from Sege Rachmaninov, vocalist, and my dear friend Anna Fedorova, who loves Rachmaninov, recorded the piano part for me. And I think it's a very interesting Corona experience now that you have now to follow absolutely the pianist with these new recordings, because there's no chance they will react to you. So. Probably after the Corona crisis, we will be very good chamber musicians, musicians all. And um, yeah, I hope you're gonna enjoy the vocalist by Rachmaninov with Anna Fedorova, virtually on the piano.
That was Rachmaninoff with beautiful playing by Anna Fedorova. The last piece I'm going to play for you is a piece I think which fits very well to the time. It's called Lamentatio by a wonderful cellist friend of mine, Giovanni Solima.
thanks a lot for watching and I want to thank all my four wonderful colleagues who joined me physically and virtually here and um, I hope that this um, concert made you a little bit of joy. It's tough times for all of us and I think the best we can do is like the thing we love to do for other people continue doing and um, I think music is a wonderful way to cheer up and even in the hardest times it's always there with us so I wish you all a wonderful rest of the Easter Pesha fast and hope that you stay safe and healthy and um, thanks a lot for Wallen Channel for making this possible <laughs>